Hi guys, it is April the 6th, it's Saturday, and it's day one of my Couch to 5K training. Um, I have some tips for you guys before we really get started. Um, tip number one, if you're going to be running, get good shoes. Uh, these are just a pair of running shoes that I've had for a long time, one for when I work out, go to the gym, but um, it doesn't matter what kind of shoes, like what kind of brand, as long as they fit your foot, they're good, they have good arch support, things along those lines. Um, don't wear Converse while you're running, don't wear flip-flops, don't go barefoot. Um, that can cause some damage when you're running, because running is a high-impact exercise, and uh, especially if you're like running on concrete like I am, um, it's hard on your joints, so you want something that can kind of brace the impact on the back. Um, tip number two, stay hydrated. This is definitely something you really need to focus on. If you're doing this, don't forget to drink water. Um, you're you're going to be sweating and sweating and sweating. I, I can't focus on that enough. You really need to drink water. I just have a regular water bottle, a sports water bottle, with a pop cap. Pop that pop down. I carry it with me when I run because it's literally easy. Just popping it up, taking a drink, and I can keep running. I don't have to stop and open a water bottle, things along those lines. Um, they're really cheap. You can get them for a dollar um, at almost any store. Um, third tip, if you're listening to a podcast like I am, I'm using the 5K101, um, get a good pair of headphones. A lot of people have this, the iPhone headphones, and they don't sting in your ear very well. Mine have a little squishy tip on them, so they stay in my ear, because they expand. So, try to get something like that, or get the over-the-ear ones that go over the back of your ear, inside, because those will stay on great as well. Um, Besides that, there's really not a whole lot else I can tell you about what to do. Um, so like I said, I'm, I'm just starting out. This is only day one. Speaking of day one, it was hard. I'm not sure how I survived it. Um, like I said, I don't have a whole lot of exercise background. Um, I'm not a tired person. But when I was finished, it was worth it. You know, I got done and I was like, hey, well, cool, I finished day one. You know, yeah, there's 11 weeks to go, but hey, I finished day one. <laughs> so this is definitely something that I'll be doing every other day. Um, yeah, I know it says to do it three times a week, but um, I'm going to do a little bit more than that because I said I have no stamina when it comes to exercise, and I really need to build up before I can get to the running the entire 5K. So I'm actually, it's an eight-week program. I'm actually doing it for 11. Um, there are, I think, 79 days until I leave for my trip, and then there's 81 days until the actual 5k. Uh, so I have that long, so basically it's 11 weeks um, to actually get the uh, training part done. Don't be afraid to repeat days. Um, I, I know I'm doing week one twice, mainly because day one killed me. <laughs> I had to stop doing a lot of the running portion to walk because I just couldn't hold up two minutes. I mean, uh, don't push yourself too hard. Don't give up so easily. Um, like said, it's only day one. We're all doing this at the same time. Um, so good luck to you guys. Um, I will see you in two days. Bye.